Good morning, guys. We're back here, and we're doing another vlog. This is vlog number 28 on July 18th, 2019, and it is 7.36. I'm actually up and moving this morning, uh, trying to get ready. I have to do a couple things before work. Um, I have my, me and Nicole's, our new friends from Raleigh are coming over this afternoon, at least uh, the male and the, the relationship with them, too. And we're going to be working on some editing stuff for the podcast. So it's from the point now where our group, our other group, is now all online to do our week to like week to week recordings. So with that being the case, um, he's gonna we have to figure. Out, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna strip and change up the audio because I recorded it a couple different ways. I just dropped something. Oh well. Um, as the weeks went by, so. As such, I'm not sure exactly which one of the ones that I did are the best, and you know, we're gonna have to spend a little extra time to get them probably up to snuff since they are different, uh, especially the first one. The first one I remember we were having a lot of issues where we couldn't hear nothing, and we were like switching back and forth between programs, so it was just a nightmare. But besides that, uh, yesterday, more training. It was it was a couple hours of training in the morning and then I, w I went upstairs and continued to work. Uh, we're starting to get into com some commercial projects. I said they gave us some like reference practice-ish material. Not exactly how you define it. Um, but w we were taking and taking PDFs, importing to CAD page by page, and then I would uh, clean them up, move them into viewports on the main pages, and then I exported them again to see the quality that you get out of. Because sometimes when you import a PDF into CAD, uh, it gets a little wonky on what it thinks stuff is. So it was more of like a comparison between what they had given us and you know what just importing it is. <sighs> so that was most of my day yesterday. And then I came home, Nicole streamed, uh, Monster Hunter, and I worked on rolling another level one character. Because uh, we were doing our first one shot with our new group this Sunday, I think it's Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, and it should be really fun. Uh, my characters actually turned out pretty good. I have some had some really good rolls on the upwards of like eight, 16, 18, and some not very good rolls on the lower end of 9 and 6. So, what can you do? Um, but, it should be fun. Uh, high AC, Blizzard Volk. Uh, I think we're in a sailing town. I'm not 100% sure with the plot, but it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it'll be our first kind of, you know, get together with everyone, and first run of the game, so it should be fun. But besides that, that's all I did. I hung out, looked at some, looked at some more houses. I did try to make my, my own ramen yesterday, which it turned out all right. Um, the noodles I got for it were some kind of, they didn't have like noodles that said like ramen, so I wasn't sure which ones to get, I don't know, rice noodles, or you know, this one or that one. I kind of just went by uh, the size of the noodle, but the one I got, they just didn't, they had like a weird con like consistency, and very little, you know, normal like flavor at all. So, uh, but we got, I got those. I took some like thinly, uh, like thin steak, and then I sliced it into strips, and fried it up, took whatever's left, like the fawn to the bottom of the pan, threw some beef stock in there, uh, garlic, crushed garlic, and then, well, crushed it, and then uh, minced it, garlic, into that, a couple other spices, cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, uh, I think there was some like parsley, uh, some sesame seed oil, stuff like that, and made like a, a rendered out of broth, and then put the noodles from the pot after I boiled them into the broth and let them soak up that juice, but they felt very one-dimensional. That was my problem with them. Uh, the taste, like, the beef broth taste didn't have a lot of, like, flavor in my opinion. And the noodles, while they soaked up some of, like, the cayenne and the garlic taste, they just didn't have any, like, anything besides that. So I'm thinking maybe next time, maybe some, a fry, like, maybe a fried egg in it or a boiled egg. Um, some scallions would probably have been good. Uh, some pineapple, maybe some peppers. Get it all mixed in there. 
just to add some different textures and flavors to as you're eating it to make it different because it was you know beef beef ramen with steak and you know it was just yeah not as good as I was hoping but it is what it is uh, you don't ever try stuff while you're cooking you never make anything new so I was like I, I really was going to do some shrimp one ramen was my like original plan but then I was trying to think of you know how am I going to make a broth that's shrimp based that doesn't taste just like fish so I ended up going with steak uh, like second guess myself as I was picking it out I was like yeah but anyway guys that's it I mean that was my yesterday nothing said I did have a, like get an argument with my landlord uh, which I was not very happy about either this is actually my it's my old landlord this is actually our lease uh, because he's wanting us to pay an additional half month's rent so our lease goes from was it the 15th yeah 15th to the the 20 May 15th to July 26th which comes up in you know eight days so he's wanting us to pay half month's rent because apparently we go from 15th to 15th is what we were doing and we were never adjusted onto the correct you know like I guess 26 to 26 uh, which I don't feel like it's our fault I feel like it's you know poor planning on his part anyway with that being said uh I was like, you know, one, I've done a lot of work at, on the cabin that we were in. I did repainting, I did fixing, I did sealing, and I was sanding, you know, repairs that I made because I'm a nice person and was living there for so many months. Well, so many years, like two years. Um, so that annoys me that I did so much work for him and we repaired stuff and he still wants to charge us $275. Second thing that made me really mad is when I was on the phone with him, you know, he was like, you know, we can clear this up. Just go ahead and knock it out today. You can send me the keys, and it'll be, a, and I'll take the money out of your deposit, and that'll be it. So what he wanted yesterday is me to go ahead and turn the house over to him, and he so he could start doing repairs on it as early as today, because I talked to him yesterday. And I was like, so you're saying you mean to pay for me to keep this cabin until the 26th, but you would like to get in there and start working while I still own it? I was like, no. I was like, if you want that, uh, we can call it two days that I own the cabin. I'll send you the freaking keys back in the mail. And we'll get, you can take like 50 bucks out. But if I'm paying the $275 out of my deposit, I'm freaking keeping it with a lock and iron key. Uh, I will not let it go and he can kiss my butt. Like, if he's going to be that freaking uh, anal about it, then I should, you know, maintain my right. Because he was complaining that he didn't want to have to do all the repairs on all the other cabins when they turned over on the 26th. That if he can get them on earlier, that would been great. And I was like, you know, if I could save freaking $150, $200 uh, by giving it to you today so you could do that. Because that cabin, the do both the doors need to be replaced on it because they leak water and... Uh, when we moved out, I told him, listen, your doors leak. You need to replace them. They leak into the floor. We won't be there to watch it because one of the f sets of floors was already getting soft where freaking Rod had probably overtooken underneath the floor uh, and it needed to be replaced. And I was like, you need to watch it because no one's going to be in there. Of course, he didn't. So that, that spot of floor, he said, was uh, not doing very well, kind of rotten. I was like, not my fault. Um, but, you know, I warned him, I told him, but he's been a shithead about the whole situation, so I'm just gonna, you know, let him have it. And the 26th, uh, there was a couple things that also needed to be cleaned, which I, I might just want to go over there if I can. If not, I just want to leave him with as much of a problem and a headache on the 26th for him as I can. So, that's what I'm going to do. Uh. It sucks that it has to be that way, because I, you know, I enjoy kind of living there, and I hate to, like, really crap on the place, but, you know, with me doing work on the cabin for free, I didn't ask for anything, I didn't ask for any supplies, I just did it to be nice, to keep it up to shape, because I wanted to live in a place that, you know, had, like, some of the stuff, easy stuff to fix, like, the, the tips of the windows from leaking air, and, you know, I wanted 
you know, paint not to be chipping to my floor. So, you know, stuff like that, that, you know, I can fix with a sander and a paintbrush. Uh, and he doesn't even realize the hours I put into it that he's not going to have to. All he can think about is how much money he can be making uh, on a month-to-month turnover process. So, that's what it is. I can't, you know, justify it, but if he wants to wait till the 26th and wants me to keep it, I'll keep it. And then, then when the new tenant complains that, you know, carpet's, you know, messed up or the roof is covered in freaking smoke where there's smoke damage or the door's still not fixed and leaking and that he has to fix it while she's living there, well, he'll get less people. It'll be the last time I recommend anyone to him. But anyways, guys, enough for my ramble. I gotta finish getting ready. It's 7.47 now. So hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, there's a like button right under the video. You can hit it. Uh, it means a lot to me. Shows me you're enjoying. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, I'm pretty sure tonight, uh, 7 o'clock, Nicole will be streaming some more Monster Hunter. She's been on a roll. Uh, so go and join us on Twitch. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, if you'd like to, you can give us a follow. Uh, we are shooting for that affiliation, that 50 subscribers that 50 follower mark and on YouTube we are shooting for a hundred so we could update our name in the URL make it a little easier to type in so hope you guys enjoy I'll see you next time bye guys